Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you decided to click on it and I hope you enjoy my teaching adventure this week. So, it is Tuesday because yesterday we had a snow day because it's been crazy. It was super icy and even though it didn't snow until late in the evening, on Monday we still had a snow day so yeah um, I'm actually back in the classroom I was on Friday because I did a half day in second grade and then part of that was then a half day in kindergarten which actually ended up me being in this class so I'm super excited and happy about that it's been a little bit crazy because I forget sorry I'm looking up cuz like it, it's just really awkward if someone like catches you filming and stuff so yeah um what was I saying so anyways I ended up in this class so I wanted to share a couple things with you guys there is this website it is free it's called storylineonline.net you can see that dot net up there and it just has a bunch of stories let me go back so it has a bunch of stories you can see lots of different options on here. Just added, National Reading Month Challenge. So here's example of one. And it tells you who reads it. So this is writ read by Kristen Bell, written by, illustrated, all that. And then it gives you a little description of what the book is about. And then you can see Welcome that to Storyline Online, she to reads it to you. I'm Kristen Bell, and today I will be... So it's just a cool way that important like celebrities or important people can read to your class and they're reading real books and it's just kind of fun because um, they show different pictures and they're very dramatic about it and yeah it's free so I definitely recommend it it's really fun and the kids are very engaged it looks like um, this one is about five minutes so it doesn't take too long something fun to do mix things up a little bit so there's an idea for you there's a cool poem that the kids say to learn about saving shapes happy Wednesday I am in a fifth grade class today and I'm I just got here um, it's another half day so in the morning I'll be in fifth grade in the afternoon I'll be in third grade and I have arrived in a whole different part of the school that I haven't even seen yet <laughs> um, just because I've been over on like that side of the school for all of my placements so far and this side looks completely different like it looks so new and fresh like the furniture looks new the walls and everything just looks really really nice in comparison to the other part of the building which looks really old um, it has a very similar layout to my old elementary school because a lot of the schools here um, just took the same layout and then placed it for another school so it's pretty much the same but this part is completely different which is kind of cool but like weird being in it I really haven't looked over the lesson yet so I know we're gonna talk about idioms this morning um, they do the morning share morning message they do some kind of game and then it's gonna be math so it sounds really easy they're doing this geometry type um, pre-assessment so that they can document their progress over the course of their next math unit. My biggest suggestion on a half day is to get the plans for the second half of your day so that you can be prepared for both and you have extra time probably in the morning anyways so you can spend that time reading instead of getting to the next class and not really knowing what to do. So that's one of my suggestions for you guys. So something else I wanted to talk to you guys about that I've actually filmed quite a few times and I just haven't put them up because I wasn't satisfied with it 
is talking about basically how to save financially and kind of what the what it looks like financially for a sub. Now, there are times that I'm like, I don't make barely any money. I feel like I really just don't. And I wonder how some of those people who do have kids and have to pay all these bills, like, I don't, obviously, hopefully, like, I don't know, they might have someone else to help support them, but I, I only make $135 a day. Um, I've seen anywhere from $110 to then, in this district, $135. And usually, um, I'm working in two different districts just because the job opportunities are so much better that way and can guarantee that you have a job every single day. But on the flip side of that, um, you do have different pay periods, which means you get paid at different times. So right now I'm getting paid about once a week, but that can vary anywhere from $108 because I worked one day over that pay period to $400 because I worked like four times over that pay period. So it just really depends on which school district I'm in, how much that school district pays, and when I get paid from that pay period. Now, I personally keep track of all the days that I work and I try my best to work at least once or twice in each of those school districts so that when I get paid on that payday, I'm at least getting something. Um, but being a sub and not really having to tell anybody when I want to take off a day, it's, it can be really easy to take off a day. So that makes it really kind of complicated sometimes. But if I accept jobs far enough out, then I'm already locked into them and I've made that commitment. So it's a lot easier than say like tomorrow, I don't have anything. So my brain, my planning brain is thinking, oh, I had the day off, but I need to make sure that I accept something just so I keep getting that money and getting paid and everything like that. Um, so yeah, you as a sub, you can work every day if you want to. I often have people asking me if I work every day or like how often I work. And I'm like, yes, this is my full-time job. This is what I do. I do work every day. Um, obviously, if I want to, I have that choice. I have the choice to do half days and everything like that. Um, and I'm a big planner. Like in my mind, I need to know what my plan is. I can change and be flexible if I have to but like I like to have that concrete plan and kind of know what to expect so I keep track of where all of my money goes I have an expense and savings chart I actually use this notebook I carry this around with me every single day and it just has all my information on it. I also use Google Sheets to keep track of all my money as well, just so I have it in two different places. Using Google Sheets makes it so that I can use it on any device. I have it accessible whenever and it won't just go away because I lose it. So here I just have all the days written out and I just put like when I work and when I don't work. Here I have the paydays, so all these are all the days that I worked. These are all the paydays, and then when I get paid, I write it down and I check off those dates. So that's kind of how I keep track of everything. And then um, this isn't really up to date, but this is kind of how I keep track of my expenses and my savings. Up at the top here, I have the ones that are the ones I have to make every single month. And then I have things like Australia here because my family is taking a trip to Australia in June. So I'm trying to save up some money for that and retirement and just little things that I want to save up for. Like I want some new, um, a new carry-on bag. And so that costs $100. Well, I can't just run to the store and pay $100. So I save up month by month so that it is smaller increments and then um, when I get enough money I can then buy that that's kind of the person that I am I will go to Target and just randomly spend $20 Oops. 
sorry, I had to stop because someone <laughs> walked in, so we so awkward. But anyway, so that's kind of how I spend my money. I keep track of it. I get four paychecks a month, and I basically just plan it out that way. Again, I'm a very, very big planner, so all those things are really important to me. And yeah, um, I, I was going to go more into it, but I think I'm going to just keep it general like that. Um, $135 a day, but you have to factor in the tax and kind of where that money goes for me is really important. Um, I'm definitely already <clears throat> saving up for retirement. I'm saving up for my future wedding, which no, I'm not engaged, but <clears throat> excuse me. But you know, those are things that I'm saving up for. They're important to me. And um, yeah, so I wanted to just talk about that. I know I'm like a little 15 year old and how am I already <laughs> thinking about those things? But to me, I want to be able to afford a nice house. I want to be able to afford to go on vacations. So for me, thinking about, okay, a year from now, how am I going to be able to save that money? Or two years from now, how am I going to be able to save that money? Because like a wedding, that could be $10,000 that you're paying out of your pocket. So what am I going to do to make sure that I'm prepared for that? So those are the things I really like to think of. Retirement, like it's never too soon to start saving for that, even if it's like a dollar, <laughs> a dollar per paycheck or something. Like at least that's something. Obviously that's not enough, but it's something. And for me, that's important. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth view of kind of how I plan financially. I would love to show you guys, but for right now, that's what I'm going to show you guys. And I talked a really long time about the financial side of things. And I don't have like a 401k because I am a sub. I don't have a Roth IRA yet just because I don't have enough money saved up for my retirement yet. But that is my goal in the next, um, I'd say two to three to five years to open up a Roth IRA when I get enough money to be able to do that and all of that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little financial talk or if you were curious about what a teacher or what a sub makes and kind of what that looks like. Um, personally, I don't think it is enough money, but teachers in general don't get paid enough money. And there is a sub shortage right now, so I'm surprised that they're not really paying more just because there is that sub so, sub shortage. So, I don't know, maybe in the next few years we'll see the pay rate for subs increase. But for right now, um, it's personally, it's really not enough. But if maybe you were like a stay-at-home mom and you wanted to be able to do something, you could accept some of those half day jobs and still have a job for a half day or something. And I mean, you can still make at least, what, $60 a day. So it's not a ton, but it's still something. So yeah, I'm gonna end there and I think I'll try to talk to you guys at the end of the day. All right, so they just went to specialist. Um, it, they were only here for about like 30 minutes. This is one of those definitely intimidating classes where you just have some really big personalities and you have some students who come in and they're not afraid to say things. Um, one girl literally walked in and said, you look like you're 15. And I'm like, wow, gee, thanks. And just some others that like, I don't know, they walk in, they're like, oh man, we have a sub and say things like that and it's very intimidating and um, especially when for me being young it's really hard to then kind of rein back in that authority just because they've already kind of lost that respect for you in a way so gaining that back is just that much harder than when you go into a class and they already seem to respect you you know gaining that respect even more is a lot easier than anyways so uh fifth grade is always very intimidating to me it's like right over my threshold of being comfortable but I have been in fifth grade classes that I 
love and then I'm in classes kind of like this where I'm like ooh I feel like I feel like I could hold my own but I feel like they would also be a big challenge for me which I love going out of my comfort zone and giving myself those challenges but like at the same time I feel like it would be really challenging too so that's what I wanted to share about that. Happy Thursday, everybody. Today, I'm going on a field trip. I'm with a fourth grade class, and we are going to an orchestra hall, I believe. So as a sub, I am kind of nervous about going on a field trip just because I don't really know any of the kids, but they are fourth graders, so I'm hoping that we'll make it a little bit easier. I'll have the class list with me. I'm gonna count how many kids there are and just really double check. Um, I don't know exactly where we're going or kind of what to expect. So hopefully the teacher will come in and talk to me about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really gonna go over expectations and just let the kids know like, if you're not doing your job, I'm gonna write your name down. If I have to give several reminders and all that. So ooh, I'll try to bring you along as much as I can, but I might not be able to. I survived um, to be honest it was kind of a tough day um, I was super excited this morning but I just there was a class of a lot of boys and I obviously didn't know that going into this the teacher was here this morning and it was just kind of crazy the concert itself was beautiful and really fun and then I got really hungry on the bus ride back and I started to get like kind of a cold sweat going on which wasn't comfortable and then we got back and I got to eat which felt good and I'm sure for the kids that felt good too and the rest of the afternoon I just kind of meh so anywho I'm going to pack up it is gotta check my watch I have about 20 less than 20 minutes before I can go and honestly I think I'm just gonna go home and rest <laughs> um, it was just kind of one of those days that just felt very like overwhelming um, very anxious to get over with and not that they were like you know bad kids by any means or anything like that it was just like so many kids so many big personalities in the boys that had a lot of energy and it was really hard it was really really hard so I'm just excited to be done <laughs> and um, field trips are not as glamorous as they might seem so it was really fun during the orchestra part or being at the orchestra but um, yeah I'm happy to be on my way home <laughs> um, to be honest so but there were some real sweeties in here I ended up writing a list of about half the class who didn't need any reminders so if that goes to show you kind of what this day was like so I will catch you guys tomorrow bye guys <laughs>